and welcome to this video on all about perpendicular gradients. Let's jump right in. Let's talk perpendicular gradients. Now, you might have seen my other videos already on this topic of y equal to mx plus c. This is my fourth video. I hope you've seen the rest. If you haven't, they're all in the description below. So when you finish, go check them out. Now, let's go jump into perpendicular lines. Now, there I've got um, a set of axes, my y-axis and my x-axis there, and I have got a line right there. Now, when I write the equation of this line, y equals to mx plus c, that's what it should really look like. So now, I want to know what happens if I have a line that's perpendicular to this line. So perpendicular means that it's at 90 degrees to each other. Well, what happens is the gradient of the perpendicular line is the negative reciprocal of the line that it's perpendicular to. What do I mean by that? Well, the gradient of this line is m. For the sake of argument, let's put it in an actual equation and see what happens. Let's say the equation of this line is y equals to 3x plus, I don't know, 6. Okay, so that's going to be the equation of my line there. So I know that the gradient is equal to 3. Now my perpendicular line, the gradient of that is going to be the negative reciprocal of this gradient. That's two big words there, but let's deal with it. Let's break it down. If the gradient is 3, then for the perpendicular line, the gradient will be negative, and then reciprocal means to flip over that 3, so it's going to be 1 over 3, 1 third, like that. And that's it. So, that, so once you get your gradient, um, just change the sign, whether it's minus, you change it to plus. If it's a plus, you change it to minus and flip that right over. And that's it. Now we can go work out a couple of questions. Well, I do beg your pardon, not a couple of questions, one question because this is a very quick video. So find the equation of the line, which is perpendicular to this line and goes through this pair of coordinates here. Now, the minute you see the word perpendicular, find the gradient straight away. So the gradient m is equal to minus 3, which means that the perpendicular gradient will equal to the negative reciprocal. So what I tend to do is change the sign first, so it, it's no longer negative, it's going to be positive, and then reciprocate that 3, it becomes 1 over 3. That's my perpendicular gradient, that's what I'm going to use. And then now, I'm going to go and find the equation of this perpendicular line. It's equal to y equal to mx plus c. Now, the way I'm going to work this out is a way that I've already shown you in one of my other videos, one of my first two videos. Link is in um, just up there, and it's also in the description. So if I lose you here, go back and check that one out. Anyway, here we go. So what do I already know? Well, I know my gradient is, is a third, and I know it goes through this pair of coordinates here. And from those pair of coordinates, this is an x value and that's a y value. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace my y with 8. I'll replace my m with a third. And I'll replace my x with 9, like that. And then that's going to help me to find my c. So it means that 8 is equal to a third times 9 plus c which means it's 8 equals to a third of 9 is 3, add c. I take away that 3 from both sides, so 5 is equal to c. I'm just going to put a little note to say that I'm taking away 3 from both sides, yeah? So that's going to be equal to 5. Now that I have that, the equation of this perpendicular line is y equals to a third x, add 5. And this is finished. And that brings us, everybody, to the end of this video. I hope that you understood what I was doing here today. And if you did, please smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you do not miss another upload. But for now, though, until I see you on my next video, peace.